All right, y'all. So we're near Frankfort, Kentucky on the Kentucky River. We're looking for David Mugen. He went missing back in 2015, 2013. We've got several vehicles in the water. There's one that we know, like it has to be an accident. There's a roadway that goes across the guardrail and right before the guardrail is basically where the car went in. Yep, it's straight off a cliff. And it's face first into the, into the river and the way it's positioned it 100% looks like an accident. Lee the Aqua Adventure is here. Hi everybody, welcome. Can't wait to get in the water and do what I've traveled all the way to the USA to do, yep. which is dive on some subject cars and help these guys. So I really can't wait to get in there and see what we can bring to the table. And fingers crossed, we get some good answers today, guys. Get some family some answers. Bring yep. some loved ones home, brother. Ronnie, Brothers Underwater Recovery, Outdoor Adventures with Ron. Can I, can I just say, yeah. Trey, I'm not taking over no, anything, good. mate, sorry. Uh, I just want to give a massive thank you to Ron, Outdoor Adventures with Ron. He's been a massive support. He's gone and got an amazing boat to make this able to happen. Let's go on, I'll show you guys his boat. What an amazing rig he's got. Yeah, what? Uh, this is what he's worth. <laughs> Look at this, guys. <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. All five of us are going to be in there with the sonar equipment, all the dive gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, they mean they mean them. I'm going to come in off the shore, off the bank. I ain't getting in that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, guys, I'm only joking. Look at that for a rig. Absolutely amazing. Lots of room for the dive equipment. Uh, the sonar will be up there on the clamp, you can see. What a boat Ron's gone and got. Thank you, Ron, mate. Appreciate your yeah, support and help. Us out a lot. Uh, without Ron today uh, and all week, uh, this would not have been able to happen. So, massive thank you, Ron. I appreciate that. You're welcome, guys. Right, sorry for taking over. I'm going to hand this back to Trey. Sorry, Trey, mate. No, you're good. <laughs> finally, <laughs> glad to, finally glad to have you here. But you can see, we're here with these three and myself. and. Without us working together, this this is not possible. It, it couldn't have been possible. Um, we all had different thoughts. We all would map things out, look at the different waterways, roadways, did a lot of searching. I mean, un unfortunately, we didn't get the donations that we yeah, you know, hoped for. The majority of it's out of pocket. But with yeah. all of us pitching in and some wonderful subscribers yeah. on all of Absolutely. our channels, they've helped out and we've made it this far. Yep. We have so, had a couple of good support in donations from a yes. couple of people yep. uh, and without them you know who you are we want to say a massive thank you from all of us absolutely yep and we do greatly appreciate it but thank you all very much we're gonna quit yapping and we're gonna get in the water get in the water and they're gonna dive on these vehicles and see what they are let's yep. get lee wet <laughs> get me wet <laughs> thank you all for tagging along we'll see you on the water cool Aqua Adventure and Trey, narc divers going in the water. They're gonna dive on the first one. Good. Get the line. Yeah, you got the line. You got the line. I'm going down. Okay.
Lift your motor up, lift your motor up.
plate. I can't find a plate. That's all I got. It's buried. Yeah, but I think part of it's intact. I was able to reach inside a couple windows. <laughs> yeah, those glass windows intact. Yeah, windows are intact. I just, it just, it's, yeah, silver. Yep. But I can't make out, you know, I can't make out what it actually is. There is windows intact? Yeah, windows are intact. All of them? It's a silvery white car. Yeah, silvery white car. Yeah. yeah. But I can't make out. Nah. I can't make out what it actually is. Okay. Could I, mate, I've, Brent. Got, I've got something up it, but I don't know what it is. Okay. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna back it down here. Yeah. And we're gonna come at you. Oh. That's a piece of metal. <laughs> and then we'll pick you up. This should have came off the back. Do you want us to go back? Do you want us to do some more? See if we can go else up there. Let me see what here I got. Yeah, probably. Is it, newer or it looks old. I mean, it looks old. It has cramp and stuff. I think it's old. It's old. I can't.
It's a car! Right! I think... I think it's a car! Ronnie! I think it's a car! There, no, there's two do Two doors! No, two doors! Like right next to each other, the front window's still there. No, this the side that I was able to get, like make out what it was. Front windshield, two windows open, two doors. Yeah, or no, 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 no. like a four door car, like old. Oh. All right, y'all, we're back. At the boat ramp, dough of the vehicle identified it. It is a 1975 Ford LTD. It's a big old car. Right now, we got another vehicle marked. We got Ronnie and Lee. They're getting ready to dive on it and identify that vehicle. And there's some parts off of the Ford LTD. We actually have like a rear brake light panel off the Ford LTD. So it was a good dive. Actually, we're able to see what the vehicle was. And we're gonna find out what this one is. So stay, stay, stay with us. And we'll see what this one is too. I'm freezing. Least comfortable. <laughs> Dry suit started leaking, so it is what it is. But thanks to Ron, we got a little heater going and we're able to get warm back up. So thank you, Ron. I'm always cold. So yeah, no me problem. too. <laughs> All right, we got Lee on the right, Ronnie on the left. We got a magnet on the vehicle, and they're getting ready to dive it to confirm what it is. 
I'm just kicking away into the current. <laughs> I would say all right y'all so we got Lee and Ronnie out of the water a backup on shore so we have the 1975 Ford LTD that's confirmed off the roadway there on the river just south down, down south on the river then we came up back to the boat ramp the uh, second car the second object that we thought was a vehicle it was actually some kind of farm equipment we pulled up chains and a hook cleared that lee and ronnie cleared that and then we moved on to the third vehicle lee and ronnie dove on that um we're not for sure if it's a jeep or a chevrolet suv or a truck it's upside down um all four wheels are up so that's accessible that's definitely pullable right now we had to contact pd let them know exactly what we found Give them the information and they're passing that along to their emergency management and fire department dive teams and see what they want to do so thank you all very much so that's two vehicle confirmed vehicles in the water lee and ronnie did a heck of a job diving today the current wasn't too terribly bad in the first car obviously with the, the embankment that's got to be 100 percent an accident and then the second vehicle I'm not 100% sure, but it was upside down. We're going to see what they want to do as far as diving it or pulling them out of the water. But all these officers are really, really good guys. Everybody's friendly. They said they're not camera shy. <laughs> I would say this one here, if it was a, a high speed chase, run in, whatever, that would be fine. The other one, I'm gonna say that. That's a definite. That's probably a missing person that yeah. they can't find. Yeah. It hasn't been done. I wonder if I'll have to ask them. We the, see that a lot. I'll have to ask them where the pursuit was because, like, the, where Glens Creek, where that is, I mean. But I will tell you, a vehicle's only going to float for about 10 minutes yeah, at might. the longest. And then it's going to be right there where it's Right at. there where that's at. That's not like a well-traveled road. So. We'll see what my supervisor says. So it would have probably had to come off the bridge. Or right here. How we doing? Hey. How we doing? Very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Trey Lombardo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How we doing? How you doing? I'm Ronnie. All right, Mr. Patrick. Brothers Underwater Recovery. Where was the pursuit? Huh? Where was the pursuit? I'm not 100% sure Captain told me about it. It was just, they, they, the emergency manager said there was a pickup truck. One of them. Which one was the pickup truck? Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they knew about the other one. They've so been, is they, he still in the truck? No. Nah. No, they okay. got him. It was a, it was a, yeah. Oh, it, was probably, it was before <laughs> I started. <laughs> yeah, it was before <laughs> I started. <laughs> I've been on for 12. That's about right. So it's been there for about a while. About 15 years. Uh, Bill was in 1975. So I, I, yeah. He wanted me to talk. 1975 LTD. Figure out what's going on because we had packed up to see. They've been talking about recovering. They knew about a couple of them. Uh, this is the, this tell them we'll is make the, them famous. So this is the truck, <laughs> but then he said this is like Harris Concrete, Glens Creek. He said name, that there's yeah. a car that was charged up there like right there. Oh, okay. Like so we, we can't tell if there's anybody in there. No. Can't tell. From the side that I could reach in, there's not. But there's another side that's completely just silted in. I would say all the windows 19, on that one are up, say, except for one. I could, there's two windows I could reach in. Uh, just like this. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the pillar. Yeah. And then the front so, one. So. Uh, <laughs> or it might have been the back one. Like the the front. The, the, like the back end of that trunk so long, it could have been a hood. Remember the trunk. Walk over here. Huh? Down there, you can tell it's a Ford, uh -huh. and then you can tell it's a 1975. Uh -huh. This is the left side. This is your uh, backup light right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's like, uh, everyone, uh, everyone keeps looking at you because they're all like, look at a 1975 LTD uh, four door uh, car. Yeah. This is what it was. Okay. 
Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean. Let me give him a call and we'll go from there. All right. It's Unfortunately, I don't have enough to make that call. So. <laughs> it's not quite as bad as Paulino Ohio, but. <laughs> Thank y'all for being cool. Absolutely. Definitely appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. You guys have been very cool. Yeah, that's good. So I just wanted to give a shout out to the uh, city of Frankfurt Police Department for being very cordial, very, very respectful, listening to what we found and making the proper steps to see if we can get some of these vehicles pulled out of the water. If anybody from your community sees this, I just want to say that they're just some great officers and I wish that the majority of interaction with, with police was like this. There's one heck of a, a crew of guys that are uh, putting their life on the line to protect us as citizens every day. So I appreciate y'all very, very much. So if y'all want, give those guys a, a shout out of respect. Thank y'all very much. Course, hi Trey. Hey. Uh, it was good to dive with you, mate. On you the too, first buddy. car, that was a pretty awesome dive, it wasn't it? It was a really, the current wasn't too bad, and then I got to the, uh, so I, most of the time the currents can be ripping. Yep. And I got lucky because the current wasn't terrible. I got on the, I'm going to say the north, no, the south side of the car, and the way it silted in, there was not much to hold on to. No. And so I kind of tried to keep going around and searching, and then I made my way back hey, to the Trey. other side of the car. Yeah. Wasn't you supposed to give a card to the law enforcement here and there, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I have all, one. You've been all day. I have one. For the last two days, <laughs> not giving out a card. So here's the I law have, enforcement. Go who, ahead and give him one. I this have, guy's an influencer on YouTube. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you give him your card, he yeah. will have, be there. I have a whole box, and then we did this <laughs> March mission, and I left the whole box he's at been, home. He's been taking so. that out, saying, you can take a picture of it, but yeah. you can't have you can't it. can't have it. <laughs> they've, been making, oh, they've been making fun of me the whole time. <laughs> so we give each other. conversation quick to it. <laughs> so, about diving on the car? Yeah, so the, the car... I mean, with the way it's positioned and everything, one side is you have a lot to hold on to, a lot to search, and you get to the east. It's north is that way, correct? Yep. So you get to the south side of the car, and it just doesn't feel like there's much car there, no. which is weird. So the other side of the car is very intact. Yeah, because we ran down it. Yeah, several feel times. The, the windows were shut on this side, yep. you could feel the top. The top, the, it was either the trunk or the hood. It's an older style car, so to me, it you know, it very well could be the trunk and it'd be a, a long yeah. trunk and it felt like the hood. Because so where we put his arms around the side, you could yeah. almost feel the curve. You could. And then I'm not for sure exactly when I pulled off the the plastic. Uh, it's kind of well, like the film. another tail light. The tail light. I thought for a second it might have been a license plate, but there's no license plate that I could find. So no. when, I, when it came right off, I figured I was holding on to it. But luckily, we have got a part number, yeah. haven't we, off the tail yeah. light, and it's stamped Ford. We're able to identify the vehicle. That we don't know who you know who it is at this point, but at least we know what kind of vehicle. So if there's any missing person cases with that style of vehicle, it very well could be them. So yeah. we should do some research tonight and maybe see what we can find out ourselves. Well, what about the police? They've, they've been super awesome. Haven't they've been super awesome. Uh, really really respectful. Yeah, one, it's a heck of a shift. Good diving, though, mate. That, that was his buddy. first dive with us, the second car. Yeah. And it went well, didn't it? It went very well. Really good. I felt comfortable, mate. It was, it was sweet. I felt super relaxed on this dive because I wasn't worried about you. Yeah. <laughs> that makes any sense. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, no worries. I knew that you, if something were to happen, obviously you're not going to be able to find me once we separate. You would be able to be an efficient diver and take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah, sure. And, uh, and it was vice versa as yeah, well, vice mate. Versa. And then the hand signal thing. Yeah, so we've got, we have made up a Brazil and so signal. Here in the United States, at least the dive teams I've been on, we do this. We'll go down, and get your thumb, give me a thumbs up, and I'll, I would do this to tell him yep. I'm okay, and vice versa, which with the dry suit gloves and then just like the thickness and be able to feel, it's not, honestly not a good way to communicate. Uh, and now I do it. We we'll go. Uh, I, I grab all the yep. tray of his hand and I'll knock one. on the back of his hand. One, two, if I'm okay. Yep. And then one, two, three. If, if some, we're going up, yep, if something's wrong, we're going up. <laughs> yeah, which is super easy, super easy to remember. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be using that from now on. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh cool man, that's, that's awesome. Uh, 
So. That's awesome, mate, because you do feel it better, don't you? <laughs> you <feel laughs> fumbling about, yeah. There's no miscommunication that way. <laughs> Absolutely, mate. So, that, so that's really good, aren't yeah. Thanks, Thanks for diving, mate. Thanks I, for coming over to the United States. So. It's a it's pleasure. Uh, and that's his first dive. There's more to come, yeah. Oh, there's a lot. To, there's, there's a lot, lot more to come, trust us. <laughs> yeah, just stay with us. <laughs> just stay with us. We're not giving away too much just yet, yeah. but there's a lot more to come. That's Yeah, yeah. There's a lot more to come, guys, so stay tuned. And catch us later for the update. He's calling the sheriff. So that's the police. Emergency management. Yeah. Um, and I'm just waiting for Cap to call me back. Uh, he said, so, yeah, they're very aware of this. Stay tuned, though. guys. Okay. He yeah, said that was, that was okay. before I started. Yeah. They got the guy out. So. <laughs> he said there's another one down there by the singing bridge, too. <laughs> another pursuit that went in the river. Uh, the fire department does. Hey everybody, it's Trey Narc Divers. All right, everybody, the update on the 75 era Ford LTD. Uh, the local sheriff says they do not have the funding to be able to get that vehicle out of the water. It's just basically says it's not financially, uh, it's not economical for their county. Um, we couldn't confirm or deny whether there was anyone inside, just for the sheer fact that majority of the car was covered up and we could only reach in so far of the vehicle from what i can tell it's clear but i can't give a hundred percent guarantee that that car is clear so it doesn't sit easy with me knowing that we can't at least get it pulled up onto the bank to get a search um was able to find one rim that we could hook onto, and there's another section of the car the wheel well that you could not the wheel well was there, but the tire was not there, or the rim wasn't. So, and then the backstory, what we believe to be a, uh, a truck upside down, right off the boat ramp here. The police knew about that one. It was a, a pursuit, and the guy drove it off into the water. And there's no one else. There's no one inside that one, and they don't want to pull that either, just for the fact that they know no one's inside. But the '75 era Ford LTD. It was just too old of a vehicle for them to sit, you know, of an it's too old of an accident for them to want to pull it out because unless we could bring them something saying that there possibly remains inside, but I can't confirm that and I can't say that there isn't. So thank you all very much for sticking uh, with us on this episode. So we're going to go back today, go down river and do some more searching and see what we can get into. So I just want to say thank you all very much for sticking with me, and uh, we'll see what happens. I love you all very much, and it's been a, a very good March mission. We've searched and covered a lot of areas that are not even on video, just for the sheer fact that it was all hands and no one had time to grab a camera. So I apologize for that, but record as much as we can when we can. So thank you all very much. I love you all. It's Trey, Narc Divers. I'll see you in the water the next episode.